today I'm going to show you how I do my containers, how the wicks work and all that, and what I recommend. Some of my plants there I'll be putting on the river ponic system. This tote's over there, like 15 gallon. There's a bigger one. Um, that's like a 21 gallon or something there. But, but all the rest of these here are all uh, four gallon. So I'll be filling these up as well. I'll show you how the wicks work. Net cup with cocoa core. And uh, the cocoa core comes in a big brick. And then once you water it, wet it down, it expands like 10 times its size. It gets real, uh, so I got a nice, just, it'll start crumbling. That's about what you want right there. Nice consistency, a little damp. And uh, so then you just take your net cup here. This is a two inch. That's what I would recommend for the uh, four gallon containers. I'm just doing this with one hand. There, there you go. Put that in there. Now, honestly, you only need one of these, one two inch wicking cup for a four gallon container. It's all you need, you don't really need two. But the reason why I use cocoa core for the wicks is because if you use soil, you'll get root rot because the soil will get just too saturated and be like turning to mud basically. So you use the cocoa core first in your net cup and then you can fill it up with soil. So that's the key to that. And it works like a charm. I've been doing it for years. The best, easiest method. And uh, I've been using the same equipment for, same net cups, stuff for years, man. Same buckets. Um, I mix my own soil. I have, out there I have a, a big mound I've been saving for years and just adding to the soil and this and that. But I do amend it with um, sea kelp and shrimp meal, um, stuff like that. I use, here's stuff out of my gutters, a bunch of little leaves and all that. And then this is like worm castings and, and uh, other organic stuff too. But, um, yeah, then I just saw them mix it on here, and you can see how there's a lot of organic matter in this soil. So, it's kind of what I do, how I do it. Keep it nice and aerated. You don't want this stuff to compact in, in these containers. It'll, it'll be like a brick if you do, and then, then it'll uh, inhibit wicking too. So, you want a nice, uh, fluffy soil for this. But, that's how it's done. The bigger containers, I use a three inch that cup for those show you real quick and uh, yeah for stuff like this size I do recommend using two and those are for three inch there's two holes there this one more time there's the three inch it's got the cocoa core and uh, here's another one another three inch net cup cocoa core cocoa cocoa fibers from the coconut plant and the, the husk of the coconut if you didn't know and that's what I use for the wicks. As I explained, if you uh, use soil or anything else, you'll get root rot. It'll get too saturated. So use cocoa core like this, and then fill it up with soil. And you always want to top water it too. The first application, and that'll uh, that'll get the wicking mechanism going. <clears throat> But it's nice being outdoors when you get the natural rain and stuff. Um, what kind of happens is the rainwater will filter through the dirt and then it'll dissipate through the wicks into the grow channels and then the brewer and all that, you know, recirculates everything, keeps everything mixed up and, and going and literally turns into like a river. So you're taking the nutrients in the soil passing it through your grow channels through your growth system continuously as well so you know even on dry times it's probably not a bad idea to go through and top water these sometimes you don't have to but just something to think about when you look at it as far as using your even your soil as your nutrients as well to pass through your system kind of cool 